Hello everyone, and welcome to a guide for the quest Shadowed Prayers and a Candle in the Storm in Dragon's Dogma 2. They're both part of one storyline, and they both involve the Empress Nadinia and her right-hand woman Manella. Once you've reached Bak Patal and have progressed to the Nation of the Lambent Flame mission, which is part of the main story, you'll eventually run into Manella and she'll give you the Batal Residence Permit. Once you've completed the Nation of the Lambent Flame, you may then be approached by an NPC telling you that Manella wants to speak to you. I don't recall if this interaction ever occurred for me, but regardless, you can still find Manella past the ox cart in Bak Batal before the steps to the Flamebearer Palace to start the quest. When you get close to her, she should initiate a conversation in which Manella explains there's a plot to kill the Empress. She says that you'll need to return to the palace next morning. When you skip time and return for the Empress's event, you'll meet up with Manella who will task you with identifying the assassin amongst the crowd. Your clues for spotting this assassin amongst the crowd include the individual having their hair tied back with a wound or scar on their right arm. Since there are decoys placed around the crowd and he may not be in the same spot in your game, an easy way to tell is by talking to the person that you think is suspicious. When you talk to a normal, innocent person, they'll be nice to you, but when you talk to the assassin, they'll be rude to you. If you're worried about messing this up, it might be a good idea to rest at an inn or at your house in Batal before this step so that you can just reload if you fail. This specific step where you have to identify the assassin is timed, so you can't take forever. When your time starts running out, Manella will say that the event is nearing its end. This is kind of your last call to be like, all right, we need to find the guy now or else you're gonna fail. When you find the assassin, tackle him and then you'll be brought into Nadinia's quarters to discuss what happened. If you tackle the wrong person, Nadinia will be assassinated. I'm not sure if reviving her with a wake stone lets you continue the quest, but it's possible this might work. With the assassin apprehended, one of Nadinia's assistants named Ermhild will then tell Manella to visit the hot springs to recuperate. Because you stopped the plot to kill Nadinia, or so you think, you'll be rewarded 3500 XP, 18,000 gold, and 5 jaspers. To continue the story, you'll need to visit the volcanic island camp and meet with Manella to start the quest A Candle in the Storm. Before you head out, I would recommend bringing a handful of fairy stones and placing a port crystal both at Bak Batal and the volcanic island camp if you can. There's going to be some traveling back and forth for this, and you're not going to want to run through Drobnir's Grotto more than once. For those who haven't been to the Volcanic Island camp yet, the cave I just mentioned is how you'll get there. When you speak to Manella at the Volcanic Island camp, she'll tell you that she wants to investigate who the mastermind behind the assassination plot is. This will lead you to the Bakbatal jail, where you'll have to pay 5,000 gold to the inmate Herman to get some information out of him. He'll mention the coral snakes gave him this job and you'll have to relay that information back to Manella. She then devises a plan to inform the coral snakes that you know where Nadinia is going to be so that you can lure them there and set a trap for them. This step will reward you with a fairy stone so at least you get one back for all this teleporting back and forth. Then head back to the jail and deliver the information about Nadinia's whereabouts to the guy named Ash. If you don't see Ash in his cell, he can also appear in the Wanderer's Haven Tavern, located next to the Pilgrim's Inn in Bak Batal. When your objective is to return to Manella, this time thankfully she'll be near the entrance to Bak Batal, so just a short run from the prison, and she'll tell you to meet her at her special hideout. Her plan is to set up a decoy Nadinia so as to not risk the real one's life, but Nadinia doesn't like this plan. She thinks this will only be convincing if her herself is present. So you're given a choice, to accept the Empress's proposal or to oppose it. For the best ending, you should choose to accept her proposal. When you tell Manella that you're ready, someone from the Coral Snakes will arrive at the hideout. The mysterious person will observe Nadinia, verifying that it's really her. The mysterious person will then instruct you to kill Nadinia. This is simply a test though, so all you need to do is pull out your weapons as if you were going to do it. After a few seconds, the mysterious person will say that you've earned their trust, but they want to make Nadinia's death more of a spectacle for all to see. They don't actually want her to die in this moment. Then Manella will block the exit, and it will be revealed that the mysterious person is Nadinia's assistant, Ermhild. After some dialogue, she'll be arrested, the quest will be complete, and then you'll receive 4800 XP, 25,000 gold, and a ring of amplification. If you oppose Nadinia's plan, Ermhild will call reinforcements that you need to fight while she escapes. For this ending, you will still receive the same amount of XP, but you'll get 3 Jaspers and 19,000 gold instead. If you tackle Ermhild or attack her in any way during this quest, even while she's still outside, 
her identity will be revealed, and she will end her life without explaining anything. Not only does this immediately end the quest, but it also only rewards you with the XP and 19,000 gold. So this concludes the two-part questline for Nadinia and Manella. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you're looking for more guides on Dragon's Dogma 2, check the playlist in the outro and the description. Thanks for watching.